Hi guys. So what we got going is a notorious problem for these uh, 07 to 2013 trucks. These handles, these door pull handles, kind of give up right here. Everything breaks apart. As you can see in here, everything is broken out. Uh, foam is torn out. And all these plastic clips from inside in here, they're all broken to smithereens. And this is a new door panel. This was replaced three years ago. And Chevy does not have a fix for it. Uh, what they tell me to do is just spend 300 bucks for the whole door panel. And I don't think this is acceptable. So what I'm attempting to do is just take... See, this, it's got a large uh, empty uh, cavity in here. Just fill it up with window urethane from 3M. And uh, we'll see if that works. And Chevy does not have a fix for it. I think they should have a warranty uh, re reclaim on it. In addition to that, these trucks have multiple issues. Um, the door trim here that comes factory on this 13, the disc color and fall off. So I replaced it with a new body style trim. I think it looks much better anyway. And the notorious rust problem on these beds. Uh, again, a 13 truck. It's from Texas. And it developed some bubbles back here. So the fix for that is put on fender flares. Uh, the front end is not rusting yet, but I put them on everywhere. So here's the plan. I got this 3M window weld, super fast ear tan. And I'm going to uh, squeeze in here into every nick and corner I can. There's some break, there's a break right there. And get some up here in this area as well. But uh, before I do that, I gotta put some tape over the vinyl to protect it. Because this stuff, once you get it on somewhere, it's, it's no getting off. So I'll, tie, I'll tape everything up here and then we'll start squeezing it in. So now that I have everything taped up with electrical tape, um, I just don't want to get that urethane on the, on the vinyl. I got some spare tape ready here. So I'll be wiping off the excess that comes out and I'll be taping it down as soon as I'm done. Just so it keeps a nice even form, so I don't have it lumping or uh, or lifting here. All right, let's begin. So we'll uh, try to pry this open as far as we can, and we'll start pumping it in here. This stuff gets rock hard, and it's really strong. We'll try to keep it level with uh, the top of this uh, plastic. And in the end, we want to get some of it that kind of squeezes out the top. That way, we'll know we got enough in there. Try to get a, few, a little bit on that white stuff here. So you gotta remember, we took out that sponge on top, so we gotta fill that up with uh, with this urethane. Everything uh, that sponge took up, this urethane will take the place of now. Which it's gonna be harder, but it's also gonna be stronger. I got two tubes of urethane, I'm hoping I'll only need one. And being the substance is so uh, thick, it's really not runny. It's not going to go anywhere. Make sure you got a lot of extra rags. I should have wore gloves for this project. So pry it open on this side and do the same thing.
get in as much as you can in the back crevice. Definitely, I should have worn gloves. Okay, I believe that's enough. We'll see how it looks once I bring it down a little bit. I want to come in out just a little bit when I press down. That way I got enough in there. Okay, let's clean up the mess. The tape obviously did not stick, but it seems like it'll it goes off decent. And once everything is, once you're sure you got everything in as much as you need, make sure the form is consistently even with the rest of the uh, rest of the vinyl here. So we'll gently press down and wipe off the excess. Okay, pause it. Okay, hopefully there'll be no spots left. I cleaned up everything. It looks pretty good. I got the tape on to secure, making sure there's no bulges here. Everything looks nice and straight. And after 24 hours, I'll come back and uh, I'll see if everything is nice and hard and we'll, uh, we'll test it out. Hopefully that works. So I got all the tape off and uh, overall I'm very satisfied. The handle is twice as sturdy as it was before. Um, I'll give it another 48 hours to make sure everything is really tight before I really pull on it hard. But uh, it's been 24 hours right now and it's already quite firm. I see I can put, press this a little bit, which means I didn't get a lot of urethane up on the top area, which even if it's soft, um, that's a good thing because it's soft here too. Um, right here, it's really hard. You can see the urethane got in here and back here, it looks, it looks nice. I think this is a good fix. Um, if I, if I had to do it over, I would just uh, wear gloves and tape it up a little bit nicer with some uh, with some paint masking tape. Thanks for watching. Hope it works for you too.